Today we have been doing a bow probe and what we're exploring is how to create a, a, a big underwater sequence towards the end of the show using huge silks that fly in the RST. So we've been working out where they fly in from, the size of them, how we can create a boat above them, how we can fly performers around them. Uh, so it's been quite an exciting and kind of big moment to make a call on a big technical element of the show. I would say that the original novel by John Masefield, Box of Delights, uh, I think is a really key touchstone in children's literature. So a lot of the kind of fantastical tropes that we've got to know in other um, pieces of children's literature, uh, they, I would say they all borrow from uh, Box of Delights. So there's magic at every corner and it just means that it's a really, really exciting evening at the theatre. Yeah, I think it's just going to be a really magical evening, full of fun, full of amazing moments and beautiful movement pieces. So today we're demonstrating and looking at a couple of very complex scenes. By doing what we're doing today without the company, it means we can do it in our own time. We can discover uh, what works, what doesn't work, so we can fine tune before we hit the stage. Yeah, it's, it's got a lot of theatrical trickery in it. I think The Box of Delights is a surprisingly warm, funny and moving show, but what's most amazing about it is how much wonder and imagination and kind of visual spectacle is actually baked into all of that. I think the show is just a beautiful family show I think pretty much all of us can relate to. Maybe the wizard bit is less relatable. <laughs>